Oh, that's not good. Because I really don't want to lose a striker that I have kind of come to depend on. Anderson, can you talk him out of this? Great. Great. Olivera wants a loan to get a permanent move away from the club. You have! You have been given the playing time you promised, and I know that because you're an impact sub and you play a lot. This game is already Basics, hard so before random people that you play well the right UCL, amount of time start to come to you and just way. go, you're not meeting my expectations. And you're sitting here like, well, how the f*** is that possible, dude? Impact subs are supposed to play like one every six games. You play, you have like four goals this year. Now I've got a promise to give him playing time when I already am. Right? Like... What's wrong with this game? How many league matches have I played? Guess. How many league matches have I played? Why does this say emergency backup? How many league matches have I played? Four. I've played four. This man has played in three of them. And you're telling me he feels his time actual playing time is emergency backup. How about this? Even if we include our Champions League matches, right? Four Champions League matches. That means he has participated in three of eight and started two of eight. Does that sound like an emergency backup to you? I mean, what is that nonsense? And now one of the most important players in the history of the club is on a playing time promise because you can't freaking afford to let that happen. We can't afford to let him leave because we're thin at forward. Got it, everything. We're good, not narrow, cool. What are they doing? We should go narrow. Cool beans, dude. Freaking cool beans. We need a result in this match. We need a result. What do we need? A result. <sighs> Finally. Oh, uh, that's 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 a tough ask. Uh, Vanderhorst, excellent hustle by Owen Vanderhorst there. Asensio, Capani, sweep this over with your left. Yes. Oh, it's got to be in the bat. Like, it's got to be a goal. Thank you. Goal! It simply has to go in. The ball's going to go in the back, but it has to. Like, there's no way that we're not going to put this ball in the net. Blocked post in the... Okay, there we go. Thank you. And Brodniak's there. And now Vanderhorst is going to be able to launch us into... Oh, yeah. He just caresses the ball. He's like that meme with the cat, like. Caress it again. Oh, what a pass! Capani, tell. Oh no, how is that? What? I mean, how is this not go to Asensio, dude? How are you looking at this and you're like, yeah, we're gonna walk, we're gonna knock this ball back to Javi, and he's just gonna bang it into the back of the net, dude. So what's Vanderhorst still doing on the field? I mean, his pass to Capani is really what's opened this play up. Like, for us in this game. Is he on? Dude, how did he not score? So Turden had to follow the play out here, and that means Brody's defending right here. This guy is on. Brody gets bodied in a way, like... The fact that Newspower was able to slow down that much and the fact that he still didn't score is hilarious. Because if you're one of the big clubs, you're already getting the, all these extra paychecks from those types of competitions. The TV money that's brought into the league in order to increase the viability in the comp. Oh, what a freaking pass. How did we not create a better chance? Why is it always the fullbacks in this game? That's stupid. Avi Vasquez is lively, if nothing else. This man goes, he's running 24 7. All right, Capani, Rodri yeah, there we go. Why are we shooting immediately, dude? Come on.
He was off, but that was a heart attack and a half for me right there. Oh boy, Nolan. Let's just let's just see a second goal. Let's just you know we've been in behind their line so often. This is what we want. We want Vanderhorst the chance to drop the ball. It's in. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. We're okay. Bring the line back one. Play a little D, you know, get a better defensive midfield out there. Get Ruzek in, get Turden out playing left fullback. And now, how is that happening? How is this happening? No! Because Shardanovich is a substitute. Slippery devil. Yes. Yes! Thank you, Pablo. Ilko, goodness, what a ball from Ilko! We never body off a defender. Ever. That was crazy and stupid and completely unnecessary. Oh, take him on! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! You know, Christian Turden made that. We needed that triple chance just to score one goal and win on the road. We had 3.78 XG in this game. We, oh man. Look, I'm going to praise because we need to boost our locker room atmosphere and like nice road win, but. Oi, we need, uh, we need a game where we put a few balls in the back of the net. That much I will say. We need a game where we put a few balls in the back of the net. Kapani, whoa. Kapani had 18 key passes and six dribbles made. This dude dropped a 9.7 without a goal contribution. Slovenian defensive midfielders of Dorfer. Oh, here we go. We finished one of the reports. See, this is why we scout. This is why. I mean, I was hoping, look, I was hoping he didn't. The odds of him hating big matches are like, what, 5%? Because I would have loved to have signed him. Like, I would have loved to have signed him. Signed him. But we had the time to wait and see. And we waited and we saw. He just hates big matches. Which that combined with the other fact that he's not a great athlete is, is an issue. Felt like that wasn't too far away. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with 200,000 as the asking price and no percent fee. Just literally give me $200,000 for Luka Petrovic. I think pretty quickly we figured out he doesn't have great potential and that offer didn't work, so. Uh, hmm. I think maybe we, we, we just offer him out, but I felt like we had a shot at it. Maybe like 175. I just offered him out for 200,000. What the hell is wrong with 180,000? I just offered him out for 200,000. We didn't hear a peep. 180,000, he's like, well, hold on there just a second. You know. This is what teams are willing to pay for you, you invalid. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, that's an unacceptable price, dude. Two teams just matched it. So get it, get out of here, Luca. Are you serious? No, well, the problem is it's not asking prices. If you offer them out at a price, that counts as an asking price in their peanut-sized brain, right? Not even the agent thought we could get a, whoa, baby, $4 million. Love that. Europa League group stage back-to-back -back financial health. It's draw day. Woo! Hey! Yeah! Yeah! I got you. One of the eight teams have been seated fourth for the draw. Yes! Julian Brandt! Yeah! We are still seated fourth. Let's go!
We have an 8.3. How is our coefficient so low? We did make the knockout stages of a European competition last year, and I don't know if Maribor or Zoltivadigam or Osijek can say that. I kind of want Group H, because I can handle Ludogorets and Ferenc Varos. All right, and all we want to do is get into the Europa League knockouts, okay? All we want to do is get into the Europa League knockouts. That's two teams that I feel like we are comfortably above, and then we get a huge check for playing Tottenham at home. We should be able to, I'd be very disappointed if we didn't get Europa League knockout. I think it's the easiest route to Europa League knockout is H. I think we want to win the group. D is the best way to do that. I think group F, so D, F, and H, yes. D, F, H, E are the four that we're like, absolutely. This is all of Vitesse is in. They're, just, they're gonna have some fun. Now, one of the groups that we would take. Now, this would be more nerve wracking to get into the Europa League uh, knockouts because all of these teams are decent. Like all, they're all decent. I feel like we could win the group if we got hot, right? If everybody comes together and gels and we play well, I feel like we could win this group. Zolta Varigam, okay. Uh, group E, now, obviously we're trying to get to H. That, like I said, that was our goal. That's the most comfortable route to the Europa League knockouts for us is H. And we get the, you know, we get some fun match days against Tottenham. But E is okay. We beat Red Star in Europa League qualifying last year. We've never played Copenhagen or Lyon, but we did just really play well against Stade Rene. And I would love another crack at a French team. I wonder who they would want. They got Sassuolo. That was the big one. That was the Power League team out of the pot. That makes everybody a little more nervous in that group. So Group F. The Zorya Luhansk and Basel, I think we're better than those two teams. But they are bigger money teams than we are, and so they're going to have higher wage players. They have potential to have, you know, those types of players that we can't defend properly. Let's just say Trobs and Spore goes here. Okay. We're in Group F. We play Villarreal, Zorya Luhansk, and Basel. I expect a second place finish from the boys. F to the chat for Group F. Who's getting murdered? Bodo, Bodo Glimp. You knew Bodo Glimp. The one team ranked lower than us. Of course, they ended up there. And uh, the final group has Trobs and Spore likely into the Europa League knockouts. But we can do that. We can do that. F to the chat for Group F. We're feeling like we can. Uh, we're feeling like we can pull that off. There we go, Petrovic. Yes, that's a win. So Petrovic has said yes. Uh, we would like to thank him for the one goal that he scored. The legendary penalty at the end of the season by Luka Petrovic. Captivated. And uh, he is making a move to Amstetten in the second division where hopefully he'll be able to get regular playing time and really develop his career into what could potentially be a, a call-up to the Canadian national team depending on their left-back pool. <sighs> I was kind of worried he was going to reject the deal. But he's headed off to uh, the two Bundesliga for 180,000. The 20 year old from the Canadian U20 national team. And this is going to allow us to make that move. I'm going to miss you, man. You've been a fantastic servant at the club and uh, you did a lot of great things over the last couple of years. Did a lot of great things. Played in Europe, played in cups, played in a lot of league matches over the past two seasons, was an important speedster on the outside for Floridsdorfer in the development of our of our club in general. And we, we, we unfortunately found out that he just didn't have the potential to kind of carry forward. So we're going to continue once. Now we're going to go in for our offer on GovReach. Daniel Beer signs his new contract. Dear God, what was his loyalty bonus? Not enough to ruin it. I totally forget. Yeah, I mean, his loyalty bonus is 11,000 spread over two years. So I think we're okay, but. All righty, kids. Nemanja Gavric. You can't stop me anymore. <laughs> you can't say no. I found his release clause. Why does everybody want star player when they go to this team? <laughs> I'm gonna have like five star players on my team. That's just not healthy. I mean, he's very patient. 
Yes! That makes me so happy. Yes! Yes! That makes me so freaking happy, man. I'll up this to 500 if we put you on the bench. And if we reach Champions League group stage, I'm going to pay you a big fat bonus. You know, I really think that well, we could get there with your help as part of this team. And he loves the deal. We literally just swapped out value for incentivized value. And he's like, absolutely. We removed a $5 million release clause and a 10% sell-on fee, added a few incentivized bonuses that if he reaches, we're more than happy to pay, and he didn't even negotiate. Oh, Nemanja, I am so happy. Now we just need a uh, pen to paper, baby. Pen to paper. Oh, yeah. The deadline day signing that the fans have been, they've been standing outside the offices waiting. Announce of reach, they've been screaming. With nine hours to go in the deadline, ladies and gentlemen, the Manya Gavrich has signed his contract with Florence Dorfer. And he has become a part of the team. And now Anderson, our captain, is upset because we, you know what? We'll handle it. Brodniak, you introduce him. We're sending Gavrich on a uh, little fact finding mission here. Need a little agility and balance training. It's not something I normally need to focus on with a, a midfielder, but we do need a little agility balance training. Uh, please be able to talk him out of it. Uh, well, he is the captain, so... Yes! Oh, this is why I spend so much time playing relationship simulator. I mean, football manager, so that I can build those relationships with players so that I can go to them and be like, hey man, I uh, heard you had concerns about playing time and that sort of stuff. And so I just wanted to, yeah, he still wants that regular starter stuff. So that's okay. I mean, we're playing in Europe. We're going to have a lot of opportunities for rotation. We're still in the cup as well. So yeah, Maroni, Ruzek, Brody, Sunday, Madu, Mutaraji, uh, Schmidt, Oliveira. I had one more spot, honestly. Well, Gavrich isn't fit. We're not going to... Okay, we'll just... He's not fit. We'll just leave him off for now. For today, we'll leave him off. Really been working hard on Paul Dolan's quickness. And it is coming together. He's also getting a nice feel for passing. The guy develops. I, I like... I just really like Paul Nolan. How about Pavel Ilko? Oh! Sh shoot! just turned 17 lads he just turned 17 i think we've got a real a real superstar on our hands and pavel ilko because that potential i mean this guy moved here this window we signed pavel ilko this window we found him literally on the next gen 50 list and i'm now going to recommend this to everybody we went through and scouted people that we thought we might be able to afford and it turned out we could afford pavel ilko and we just snapped him up from the slovakian league real quick it's 16 years old. And not only he's been here a month and he's already vibing enough to just be improving like an absolute madman. He's getting playing time. He's getting senior playing time at a high competitive level. It's helping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Fock Plots against Salzburg. This is always one of the biggest matches of the year. The Fock Plots against Salzburg. We owe them after the end of last season, apparently. Go get them, boys. I trust you guys out there today. I really do. Don't try and pay attention to that noise. We pay attention to what we need to do to go out and try and win a match in the uh, Austrian Bundesliga today. And that's what we're going to try and do. So we're just going to go out there. We're going to execute our game plan. And we're going to beat these guys up and down the field. Believe in each other. Kumbaya. I mean, we we hang with them when we play against them a lot of the time. Just stay on that. Oh, yeah, well, that's his weak foot, so. Nice. Pavel Ilko. Ooh, I thought he was going to the forward there. Oh, wow, just back and forth we go. This is classy. Lima to the end line. That was deflected, but. So Simikas is alone. That's not ideal. Make him cross from back there. 
He's 5'9". How you losing that header, Turden? Come on. Good recovery by Javi. Very good recovery by Javi. Can we not lose the header, Bre uh, Boyan? I mean, goodness. Okay. It busts in the air, and you are 6'6", Boyan. Don't even, don't even, don't odd. Well, those stupid little shoves. Like, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna score a header from 16 yards out, running away from the goal. Ref, ref, ref. Let's get the ball to Anderson. Let's get the ball to Anderson. Oh, well, now we're gonna end up just. Lo I mean, that works actually. We're behind them. Play it. He's on. He's on. He's on. Get in. Let's go. go! Picked up a bit of a knock. That's not good. He's got to play it now. He's definitely on there. Let's go. We need to go quickly if we're going to be able to pull this back. That's a great ball. Oh, let's go. There he is! Row! Oliveira! Just run with him, run with him, turn him inside. If you turn him inside, that's the, the best we can get in that situation. Ah, dang it. The penalty was the difference, really. As a uh, Stupid one to give away for Nick Lima. I think we played nearly as well as we could. Vanderhorst, obviously, in terrible form. Turden was not good. Um, Javi Vasquez actually bounced back in the second half. Uh, deadline day defeat to Adebi Salzburg. And just a tight calf. Cool, he's, he's fine. Come on, stuck. I mean, we lost by a goal. Chill. Hey, Rob. Oh, it's going to be sad, though, isn't it? It's going to be sad. One hour to go on deadline day. 15 minutes left. <laughs> the Solomon Essie. Moving on to greener pastures where he can get playing time again. He bagged some really special goals in his career, made some really magisterial runs. A darn, darn good player for us in the top league in Austria. And he's got the $40,000 move to Austria Lustienau, which is a second league team. But hopefully he'll get some time on the field. Lei, I know you're not going to respond well to this. Oh, he actually did. Said, yeah, I look, you were an important part of this team. I wish you the absolute best in the future, Solomon Essie. <laughs> yeah. Disappointing window, Javi Vasquez still on the team. Fair. I understand your concerns when it comes to Javi Vasquez. All right, so the transfers around the rest of the Europe are still going on. Uh, the deals that we've done, uh, one, Elias Rafan Olofsson is coming in in January. He's a goalkeeper that's going to put pressure on Croston, and we really only have one goalkeeper right now. Ivan Guzman's the 18-year-old wing from Peru. We just signed him end of contract uh, on what I call essentially a flyer. Uh, but into the actual people that signed, we got Nemanja Gavrich, $1.8 million release clause for the 6'4", 180-pound holding midfielder. Uh, or a central midfielder. He's got obviously great size. Great first step. He's got intelligence. Reads the game well, as my coaching staff pointed out. Stunningly good defender uh, with 13 marking and tackling and a really nice vision for the field. Nemanja Gavrich. And then $1.2 million transfer for Christian Turden, uh, who is a center back that can play as a defensive option on the left side of the field. 
Uh, he's somebody that has caused a lot of controversy, but as you can see, our $1.2 million transfer sees that his valuation is already 2.7 to 3.9. Uh, somebody with a, a very bright future, Slovenian, uh, who's also intelligent and is really, really surprisingly athletic, uh, which replaces Bashiri's athleticism on the, on the back line. And then we brought in Andrea Moroni at center back for free. As a uh, squad player, he is a super balanced guy. He struggled in his first couple of matches, but we'll give him some time to get used to everybody, learn everybody's name. Uh, he was a free signing to, to help us out at the center back position. He is more of a traditional center back in that he's just kind of balanced and able to, to do everything in an okay way. There's no real issues that you can have with Maroni. Our other free signing was Daniele Danoruma, the 33-year-old for a left-back cover. He is a very good offensive option at left-back. Problem is he came in and got hurt pretty quickly, uh, and so we haven't really been able to figure out how good he is exactly. We brought in Manuel Nira for 550000 Uh We have loaned him out to Amstetten in the second division, but Manuel Nira is somebody that really speaks to me as a wing with 15 passing and good athleticism, good ball control. I think there's a lot of tools here if he can continue to develop through playing time, uh, which we're trying to get him. We brought in Ismail Motaraji. Uh, he was the you know, biggest signing, I think, financially in the history of the club, even though he spent 1.1 million on the deal. Uh, his wage is huge. He's got so many bonuses in his contract and make your nose bleed. Uh, he is our left inverted wing problem is he played one match and got hurt uh but he is now back he's somebody that controls the ball well can take people on uh but he also sees the field really well can pick out uh pick out passes he's a decent goal scorer too he fits exactly what we want out of that left midfield position and so i was really excited when we were able to make that signing we've been tracking him forever but what might very well be the best transfer out of this window after some time is the eight hundred fifty thousand dollar get of pavel ilko who was nominated to the Guardians 50 Wonder Kid list or whatever, the next gen 50. And uh, he was available and we were able to sign him. Uh, and then we got Sunday Madu for free, which is just a tremendous free pick uh, pickup from the Nigerian league. Uh, a guy that immediately steps in and contends with Owen Vanderhorst for attacking midfield duties, I think. Uh, and he's going to start the next match. Sorry, we didn't actually finish the uh, the transfer roundup. We just looked at um, like the the outs or the ins. Now the outs are Jamal Blackman to Stoke City for eight point five million. Thought that was a pretty uh, cut and dry deal. He's already made three. Oh no! Oh god! Look at his stats. They massacred my boy. I mean, let's be honest, though. This guy's not a Premier League goalkeeper. This is their fault. It's their fault. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, Caleb Spear is at Rapid Athen and is performing well for them in the typical Bundesliga. Love you and miss you, Caleb, but $5 million was his release clause. Rocky Bashiri got hit by Galatasaray for $3.6 million uh, release clause. And so Bashiri made his move off to Galatasaray. He has started his career well in the Turkish Super League. David Dietz, $500,000 for our first ever youth academy product to make it to the first team. Uh, he goes to Blavis Linz, the second division, then Vidic and Petrovic. Headed to second division, Ian Ortiz out for 150,000 to Vakar Innsbruck. Freddy Salazar for a shocking 120,000 to Poland and Gornik Sabrse. We loaned out Luis Wara, Dimba Sissoko. We loaned out Hintersayer again so that we didn't have to pay his wage. And Manuel Nira gets a little bit of a fee and a loan to Amstetten in the second division for developmental purposes.